What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. And I know, I know, super late on this, and I do apologize, but this is the comparison of the Away 2.0 Reverse Air Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard versus what I'm going to call the OG Air Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard. Now, the OG pair dropped in 2015. I don't know the exact date. I don't remember it. And the Away dropped on October 8, 2016. A lot of hype for the shoes, both pairs, actually, and... I think to this day, everybody looks at the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 as like the pinnacle of the Jordan 1 releases. Not the actual Air Jordan 1 pinnacle, but like as far as material goes, uh, constructions and things like that. Um, now, a lot of people are wondering how they compared versus the newer release model. And um, in a nutshell, they're not, sh <laughs> they're not OG Shattered Backboard quality. Um, they come close, but... Actually, they don't really come that close, but they are good quality and they are a lot nicer than some of the stuff we've been seeing from Jordan brand. So that's a positive, but we'll get into the closer look and doing the comparison right now. I'm sure, like everybody knows why they're called the Shattered Backboard, but if you don't, it basically resembles the jersey Michael Jordan wore when he played an exhibition game in Italy. It pretty much mimics this exact color scheme and he shattered the backboard and there was also images that were floating around of his original air jordan one with shards of glass in it that is said to be the shoes he wore during the game um i don't know i think it's odd timing for it to come out but uh, who am i anyways we'll talk about the color blocking difference first so around the toe we have black on this pair and orange across the toe box and obviously we have that sail color kind of creamish across the toe and around it we have orange and then we have black on the OG and then black runs up the eye stays orange on this pair and as you can see black tongue cell tongue that cream shade and then they pretty much the inverse on the branding so we got orange for the backdrop and then white the cream shade for the Nike Air, and then we have the cream shade, and then um, the Nike Air done in orange. Now, a lot of you guys want to know about the quality. So without making you guys wait too long. So on the OG, we do have like a genuine soft tumble leather that kind of, when it goes, drops down, it does go smooth. But it is leather and you could actually see like the what's it called the like the texture within it and the almost like it's creased but it's not creases but just that natural leather quality. Now on the shattered backboard away it's basically a full grain leather you could see it you can see the texture in it but it's not even close to being it's something you would see. Um, maybe even on the yin yangs, like just Jordan one releases that just, you know, I don't want to say aren't special because I actually think like those type of drops are nice. It's just, it's not, it's definitely not this, not up to this quality. Now, as far as the paneling goes, so it is that both use that cream and it's, that is pretty much the same. I would say this is a bit nicer. You could actually see more of the like the ripples and the, the texture through the cream shade on the panels on the OG versus the new Away. Although there is some, you could see it. I would say it's slightly better, but not not like extreme or anything like that. So for the toe. Again, both pairs actually use like the same very soft leather. One in that cream cell, the other one in orange. Now, other things I did notice was padding around the collar is super soft on the OG. Obviously, you can't really see that, but I, <laughs> I pinch it like you can. And then on the away... I mean, it's soft, but not to the extent of this pair. And for the tongue, there's more padding in the OG 
shattered backboard tongue. A lot thinner on this pair, but it is softer because of the less padding. Now this next part, it's just, it's more personal, uh, it's personal preference, I guess you could say, but on the OG shattered backboard, you could see like, it's kind of like the raw cut leather. And I actually think it does look fitting as long as it's not too extreme. Like on fake pairs, you can see it's extreme. Um, but on these, it's just, it's subtle, but it's there, it's present. But you could see a lot through the overlays on both sides. Now, although it is kind of around the collar, it's very minimal. And even on the overlays on the sides, it's more of a cleaner cut on the newer release. So again, this is just personal preference. If you like that, you don't. Just something I just noticed. Very small though. But to me, and maybe it's just because I, it might be able to pick it up on camera. I'm not sure but it actually looks like the shading of orange is slightly lighter on the newer release versus the OG slightly again I might be just my eyes might be playing tricks on me but highly doubt it so another thing I did was I pulled out the insoles of the two thinking maybe they would be different but they're identical it's still the you know partial rim with the netting and then the shattered glass the only thing that's different and i look at this because this is a great way to tell if they're fakes or not is the actual like the the glue i guess you could say um the pattern used it's a lot wider on the 1990 i mean on the 2015 shattered backboard versus the new release obviously that the People do not care about that. I'm sure you guys don't. But that's something I look at for real versus fake. Certain things like that. Not to say these were fake because I know I don't even need to question because where they came from is an authorized Jordan brand retailer. It's just that I just look at it, that kind of stuff. So pretty much so we got the same deal for the outsole. All orange Nike Air branding. Yeah, I just thought I'd notice something, but nope. Show you the hill really quick. I don't like how it's lopsided. It just irks me. More of this spacing right here around the collar and done in black. Slightly different. You can both see they both have the hourglass shape, but to me, the... The newer Shatter Backboard release that just dropped is more, is closer to the OG as far as the shape goes. Um, I think that they sit a bit higher. They're both size 10 and a half, so there shouldn't be any, you know, I know they're both retro high OGs, but this pair sits a bit higher. And then the curving in the heel area might be able to pick that up slightly different nothing you know to the ex extreme or anything like that now this video is not in any way shape or form to knock the newer shattered backboard release because honestly they're still a great shoe it is very nice um materials on it is great as for newer released products all right, everybody, so that was your comparison of the OG Shattered Backboard versus the Way 2.0 Reverse Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard now. Um, so I'm just going to put it out like this, just to recap really, really quick. Quality on the OG is a lot nicer than the Way. Although the Way isn't bad, it's better than a lot of the stuff Jordan Brand has been putting out this year. It's just um, when you have the two side by side, you can really tell like, whoa, you know, Jordan Brand took it to a whole nother level on the shattered backboard versus um the away but then again i kind of thinking that jordan brands doesn't really care too much about their quality things i think they put in more time and effort when they have pinnacle releases or premium releases like the 400 dollars air jordan 4 uh, obviously you want 
great materials on that, and they're going to come with great materials. Um, you're paying four hundred dollars. Even the Air Jordan One Pinnacle, that pair was four hundred dollars. So when you look to the pairs like that and stuff like that, I mean, you're dropping a, a hefty price tag. Whereas stuff like this is one sixty, and you know, it's just they're, you're you're basically getting not to say one sixty isn't a lot of money because it is. You know, if you're buying shoes all the time, that adds up. As far as the coloring goes, the color blocking is cool. I like it. I do like the orange on the overlays, but I still like the black on the overlays. So it just depends what I want to wear. Um, I think it was perfect timing, obviously, being October for the re reverse to drop. But been waiting for these. I finally got them, and I'm happy about it. Um, you know, just comparing the two. And it doesn't, doesn't make me like the shoes any less because it isn't the quality of the Shattered Backboard one. I did think they were going to be because the images did kind of look like, oh, man, they're going to have really, really great quality, just like the OG release. But it didn't turn out that way. I'm happy to have them regardless. You know, I have uh, quite a bit of OGs in my collection. And when Jordan Brand Retro is a shoe, they don't, they're they never OG quality. Bare, I don't think, I can't count one that has been OG quality. But you get kind of used to it. You get accustomed to it. Not to say that's right or wrong. It's just, it is what it is. So either way, I'm happy with this pickup. This is one of a few OG Jordan 1, or not OG, but <laughs> Jordan 1 pickups I've had. I got these. You guys probably seen the unboxing video. And then I just got the Cyber Mondays for retail. And either overall, I'm like, I'm happy with them. So and that's all that matters. Buy what you like. And if you're happy, regardless if I'm knocking the materials or anything like that, if you want to purchase a shoe and you're happy with it, just do so. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you picked up the Away Shatter Backward ones or if you own these and you're like, F these, I'm going to keep a PG-13. So, um, yeah, just leave it all in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. Oh, really quick. Um, real versus fake coming soon on this pair. And I know I said about the Yeezy, but um, the retailer or the the store in China has been delaying that shipping like crazy. So uh, they haven't even shipped it yet. And now they're saying they're going to ship it. So I should have it this week. So be ready for there will be like a couple, maybe two to three real versus fake videos coming in a week. Or so I gotta make up for that. But uh thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.